Pyantan and Nuke. I don't actually know how good Nuke is, so... I, I changed my graphic settings to high, just for this tournament. That's how much effort I put in this. It's insane. So, we're starting into the first match of this tournament. Spawning in the top left corner. Does it? Teal, Zerg player, it is our very own Fjanten. Playing for V-Fish. And on the other side of the map, in the orange colors, it is a uh, Zerg player, it's Nuke. And we already see some talking about birthdays. Probably Fjanten will just throw down the gas and the pool and cheese him. That's what people that talk in the beginning of games always do. That's what I learned in my many years of playing StarCraft. Well, it's kind of the same birthday, but not totally. But contrary to my beliefs on which, uh, on what talking means, this is actually not gonna be a cheese. We're just gonna see a 17 hatch from both of these uh, players. And probably 18 gas and 70 pool. Yeah, that's just what we are seeing here. So, we'll, can we have 400 ADP graphics? Uh, the problem with 400 ADP, I think it's uh, 180p my graphics. Or so. Uh, the problem with that is that I am not uh, like uh, affiliated, partnered. I don't know which of the two it is. Um, because I don't have a tax ID and I don't want to get a tax ID just for uh, getting partnered with Twitch. I actually don't know what Nuke's rank is. So far he did not do any real mistakes so can't be too bad. Soon we'll even see link speed for these few links that are built in build. Actually, interestingly enough, Nuke is going for 6 links, which is, uh, you see it quite frequently. So it's not that out of the ordinary, but it's way more aggressive than anything you would usually do. Uh, but Fjanten himself is going for 4 links. Well, you will only pull 2 of them over the map for now. Probably 2 of them are just for bane links. These links can actually maybe do something. They don't uh, turn around to fight those links of Fjanten. Who decides, well, he needs some more links to defend this. It's only six links, but who knows? Maybe you need it. Fjanten actually gets into the main with his two links as well. Scouts the main Our base is under attack. But at the same time, Fjanten's uh, third base is attacked by these four links, and they are doing quite a bit of damage while only just now Fjantan's links are catching up to them and getting rid of them. But one will fall, the rest will be hurt but will survive. The question that we can ask ourselves now is, will there be any more pressure from any of those players? Link speed and a banning nest always uh, is pretty pretty helpful when you want to do pressure, but we don't know. Most players are actually making quite a bit of links, but it could be just some kind of... Uh, uh, kind of... You make links, so I need to make some more links. And so they begin making more and more links. But no, actually Nuke is gonna go for a lot more links as it looks. And he will put on the pressure on this uh, third base again. And we'll see how this will go. Fjant has quite a lot of banes actually. So it will be very hard and Nuke will have to morph his own banes, which he is doing right now. But I don't think there are any more links here. Just now they are joining up, but the banes will just be cancelled. And Fjant will probably deflect, deflect this quite easily. 
But that's not that big of a deal because both players are very equal on drones. And just now we are seeing the transition into Roaches from Fianton. He actually started the Evil Chamber with Roach attack way earlier than you did and that's that's a huge win. You want to get it going really fast if you're going to go for Roaches. And this aggression nearly gets Queen. But it will be deflected for now. And you, but there's one banding here and that can be dangerous for all these orange links. Same time there's a run by happening here on the third base of Fleganten again. I'm not sure if this will be able to catch uh, it. All the banes from Fleganten die though. And this actually gets a nice amount of workers. Two will fall, three will fall actually. I missed one here. And the screen might also go down. No, it doesn't look like it. So Fjern will be able to defend this. But at the same time there's a run by into the natural and there he actually does get a queen. But the roaches will spawn and uh, with those uh, I'm not sure how much damage he can do but with these veins actually he's taking out so many links and can go into the main again and there's more and more links rallying right now. Actually killing quite a sizable amount of drones already. With both players dropping under 30 drones but Nuke is really using this aggression to make drones of his own. And he will go into Roaches himself. At the same time, Fjantan can just push the Roach button. Or Ling button. Or whatever. Or just one A. Because he has quite a bit more army. And the question is, how well will be he be able to capitalize on that? He puts a uh, Nuke space under a sword. And I don't think there's anything here to defend this. Nuke is making a lot of spines. But these won't be up in time. Especially with Fianton deciding to not kill that base. And Banes are very good at the spines. You will be surprised. And, well, there's nothing for these six roaches uh, to endanger them at all. And these six roaches have plus one, so they two shot links. That's scary. Nuke will probably be able to clean this up at some point with those spawning roaches. But actually I'm not even sure if this is going too well for Fjantan. He will lose these roaches, but he actually didn't cancel the third base. Did I say spores? Hmm. Yeah, I mean that's not what those were. Now, even Modulates and Fjandl, Nuke will go into his lair, and uh, with Fjandl stun, he can already research road speed and uh, plus one, uh, plus two attack, and go into Carapace again. Well, he doesn't need the lair for the latter, but it's good to see more upgrades. And it's actually not that high on rounds, but 42 is plenty to make roaches. Roaches don't cost a lot. question is, will he be aggressive? Because armies are pretty close and defensive advantage is still something to keep an eye on. Next game, laser beam won't want to cast two. Wow. Just tell me what you want me to do. Alternatively, we could cast the uh, uh, <laughs> two remaining games at the same time. I don't know. Finally we see the fight going down and it's really close. But it looks like Jan will be pushed back for now. He's actually still equal on supply. But oh this was a nice run by he doesn't get the bane nest but the part is a effort counts, right? But the thing that really helps Jan here is these upgrades. Nuke is still on zero upgrades. He doesn't have an evil chamber even, I believe. And while he's still holding on quite fine, it will get rough. The longer this game goes. And Fjantan just wanna drag, uh, wants to drag this long here. He can go for uh, any pushes, but he doesn't need to end him. He should be in a pretty solid spot.
Now we slowly see some Ravagers come into the fray and we'll see how that turns out. Um, Bios can turn the tide of a battle, but that doesn't happen too often because well, you have kinda a lot of time to dodge them. But Gunn doesn't resist Ravagers, but he doesn't need that even because his upgrades are just way too good and uh, he will push me back into his own third base and take out all of the zones that are there. And with that, nice buyout though, but with that the remaining units of the new wall. Rip nuke. And now we see the slow dying that we always see when the Zerg when a player gets on the Zerg's production because the units ripple in from all sides and nothing happens. Because they are not together. Yeah, nuke, how are you losing? God damn it. Try harder. I actually did this small overlay thingy, uh, but I don't even have time to uh, use it. Nuke. Gunton. And laser beam. And we're going into the second match of this best of three. We got spawning in the bottom right corner of Thunderbird, the next map. It is the orange Zerg, it's Nuke. And on the other side of the map, representing Beefish again, there's a wonderful Fianton that already took a match here. Or a map, rather. Yeah, I'm, I know my hotkeys, don't worry, I've casted enough. <laughs> We're actually gonna see even more macro. That's boring. Give me some cheese. That's what I want to see. But I'm gonna be disappointed. Unless we're gonna see a random link flood off of two bases. That would be great. I couldn't imagine anything more beautiful than that. But for now we just see the same openings that we saw in the last game from both players. Nothing out of the ordinary, just normal link speed openings on Hedge First. So 
I don't really have anything to talk about right now, but... Whatever. I'm just gonna show you these wonderful hatches. They finish now. Allow both players to make some buttons. It's important. And links, and we'll see. Yeah, Yuke will go for the six links again. We'll see what he does with that now. But Fjanten also goes for four links. And not two links, which he might also go for. Just for scouting. And delay the second pair of links a bit longer. Because that way you can get a bit more mining. But we'll see. Jan's links will run into this set of six links. Actually, this time Nuke turns around and attacks Fjantzen's links. And this will result in Fjantzen losing one link. But that's not a big deal. It's just. It's just annoying. These two links uh, randomly go in alone, one dying. Guess they're just trying to scout, but there's nothing here to scout. So that's that. That oh, this is actually huge. You notice the Fjantens overload. That was, let's say, a bit misrallied, and uh, he will take it up, which will majorly supply for Fjanten, which is never good to see. And it could give uh, Nuke an opening to maybe do a link flat. Link flat? Give me a link flat. But that's probably not what I'm gonna see here. Or at least not more of a link flood than we saw last game. Yeah. He will make some links and turn right to drones back. Turn back right into drones? I don't know. English is a hard language. Actually not, but whatever. So these links come in and Fjatten is mm, similarly prepared than last time. But the banes of him are just now finishing up. But oh my god, these Bane hits. Those were pretty brutal. I mean, <laughs> looking at resources lost, it's actually not that far apart, but that completely shut down this attack. Maybe Nuke will get the screen, but not even that. He will lose some more links, but no, this attack is totally shut down. So this will force Nuke into transitioning himself, getting a Roach one, getting an Evo, which just like the last time, is a bit behind Fjantens, and Fjantens will have those early upgrades, and he will probably get that earlier layer as well. But that is nothing. Oh, he will actually not get the earlier layer this time. But uh, you kind of lays this uh, plus one a bit by doing that. But that's not really a bigger deal. And another bang goes down. And finally, Jan is making a few amount of a little amount of roaches, and he will actually go over the map, which I find kind of questionable. It may work out, but uh, I don't know what you want to accomplish with six <laughs> six banes and three roaches and four links. It's not quite the usual army to attack. Maybe you can get a run by with those banes, but uh, I don't know if that should work. Especially with Nuke making his own roaches now, and I mean it kind of works because if <laughs> Nuke responds with making five, uh, four spines, and that is a bit more than you would usually want to make in, a, in an average uh, <laughs> CBZ. So Vian just goes back home with his three roaches, and is probably pretty happy with what he has achieved. Seeing all these spo uh, spines. And he'll just get back into droning, has a 10 worker lead, and goes for his uh, plus 2 and road speed again. And there's just nothing he needs to do anymore. He 
can just sit comfortably at home and let this game happen. As that happens, Nuke realizes that, uh, well, he should have made drones instead of these four spines and uh, just just that and makes a lot of drones. But maybe finally these roaches, uh, these spines of uh, Nuke will pay out now with Gun actually pushing now. He has an armor lead, he also has an upgrade. Uh, he doesn't have an upgrade lead actually. He wants to knight us. The question is how well will this work? We'll be able to uh, put him past these spines. So he at least won't uh, have to worry about that. Actually, this attack doesn't seem to go too well, but Gunn jumps on top of it anyways and uh, takes a pretty unfavorable trade, uh, trade. Loses some roaches and Nuke should be pretty happy about this pickup. And this game looks quite a bit different than the last time guys faced off on Ephemeron, I think the map was called. This time Nuke is not nearly as far behind on upgrades. He's a bit behind but uh, nothing too big. And he will tech into fast lurkers as well. But at the same time Nuke's army is pretty out of position for what's soon gonna happen. That's gonna be some roaches just unloading into his natural and soon as main. The question is how much can uh, Fian get done with that? Uh, it looks like it's actually not gonna be a lot because uh, Nuke is very fast on the reaction here. Pulls away all the workers. I don't think he loses a single one. But Fian actually gets to um, pick off this road run, which is pretty huge. Usually, but at this point, uh, it's not that big of a deal. Because uh, Nuke can just make Hydras and uh, Lurkers. But the question is actually has Fian seen that there's a Lurker then? Yes, he has. And he should be scared. He has quite a bit of an army lead but uh, the question is will he be able to capitalize on that before these um, pretty strong spiky boys come out? That's the question. He will be able to go into this force base and probably uh, pick it up. Maybe get a bunch of uh, workers. Three workers going down. And that's good. And also the base fog. He will lose a few roaches uh, in this chase but Nothing too big and should be pretty happy with this. He should probably pack into his own Hydras against those uh, lurkers, but he just kinda wants to sledgehammer his way into Duke's space, jumping right on top of this army again. But at least into the base he won't be able to go with those uh, lurkers hitting the field. Boom. I want to pause. <laughs> yeah, and Pian evacuates into the Nidus. There's no Nidus. Oh, there's actually a Nidus here, but that won't work out too well for him. And he doesn't stop to unload, this is painful to look at. Actually losing quite a lot of units there. And the resources loss doesn't look too good for Pian either, but his micro has been on point. He had more workers the entire time and thus he still has a pretty sizable supply lead, but these lurkers, these can totally turn the tides. But soon Gun will be able to deal with them one way or another. Probably Vipers, considering that he has nothing but this uh, hype. Oh, and now he stays in the fire of the Lurkers for a bit. Loses quite a bit on that already. And his supply lead kinda shrinks a bit.
now everything Phantom is gonna do with this uh, hive is gonna be three three upgrades maybe. For uh, now it's only a three missile. So his spirals really need to be on top, because it's still rough. Oh, what are these lurkers doing? They're kind of just sacrificing all of themselves. There's still some lurkers left, which do a good job, but um, I don't think that move out with the lurkers alone was very good. And Fjanten now is sitting on a comfortable bank, and I don't see anything that you can do really. Army is still pretty decent, but with Fjanten's carapace upgrades, he also got the carapace, uh, the upgrade advantage, and that I don't see him win a fight with him using all those workers. Now Fjanten goes for the push, those spines finally pay off, and push Fjanten back after all these years that they've sat there, they finally can feel useful. Three kills, one kill, one kill. So it's like doing a great job. Gonna be another fight with this army, and Fian's army is actually not too big over here, so he will be pushed back a bit. You will be able to start his boss base again, but I don't know how long he will be able to draw this. Actually, a small surround goes on here, and looks like Fian will be able to overwhelm him now. There's still one lurker. But the question is, how much will one lurker do? But Fian doesn't know that it's just one. It could be more. It could be three million lurkers behind him somewhere, behind all of this. And Fian pushes through and GG's out. GG to Fianten. Who plays next? Laser Beam versus Lenny Zling or Sebastis versus Captain Undead. Okay, I'm gonna get myself a wonderful co-caster in Fianten. Hello, Fianten. Hello! And that was actually one of the first games I actually used Nidus. I didn't use it that much, but... Yeah, yeah, it was decent. And we're gonna see... This guy. And... This guy. And... This guy as my wonderful co-caster. Wow! How long do you have? Uh, I don't have delay. The feel when I don't have <laughs> laser beam as a friend. Why do I not have laser beam as a friend? <laughs> I, ca I can't so, invite him because of that. So it's this guy versus laser. Do you yes. know what MRI is? Or? This guy? Mm, nope. Yeah. And he nope. got zero career games on EU. Yeah, he's plays. He plays. God, on it's a diamond. What? 
are you talking about? Diamond. What? Whatever. This is master. <laughs> <laughs> F. Uh, oh. Did you like the meme? I don't see so any memes. Oh, hey, oh, the, the, the um, who called in the fleet meme? Yes. Yeah, that was funny. That's why I XD'd in the chat. You know. So you mean that XD? XD, yes. Wow. Wow. So it's one of our clan versus clubs. That's, that's yeah. pretty amazing. Glazer Beam's the honorary Vfish member. <laughs> Do you want to introduce someone? Uh, in the top left corner playing Serg from clubs, it is fact. <laughs> tourism. Sorry. Yes. Sir. Wait, I'm gonna turn you a bit up. You're pretty uh, low volume, I think. Oh, yeah, you're on 26%. I probably didn't want to hear you at some point. So, on <laughs> the other side of the map, representing kind of Vfish, kind of just the glazer beams, it is glazer beam. So, I'm just gonna call him Ark. Arc Arc it's Ar for Arcturus! Uh, Arcturus! You know no, the no, campaign no, no. with Arcturus Manx! <laughs> yeah, but I, can, I still can't pronounce, pronounce it. it. Yeah, that's F. Okay. But Arc is going for a pull first with two guys, so it's probably an extracted trick. Well, it's not an extracted trick, so it's atrocious. No, this is. Uh, this is just some gases, I think. <laughs> or maybe. <laughs> Honestly, I think this is just some gases. Uh, maybe this one base muter. Oh, that would be pretty great. But I usually would open 14-14 for that. And then go Lair right away with slowlings. It doesn't saturate a second guy, so... Yeah, that's okay. On the other side of the map, we see a normal hatch first. Let's not talk about that. Let's talk about yeah. this. <laughs> you know, professional casters don't talk about the game, so let's just talk anything. No, 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 no. He's going Look, for a spine. A spine. That will be able to defend, um... I think not this Overlord. I think that... Ark is too afraid. Yeah, yeah, that could be. Um... <laughs> I don't know his level, uh, but from what I read in the chat, uh, it's not too high and uh, playing in the Master is pretty scary. Yeah. So. Oh my god, cut. Cut. Oh. oh my god, a creep tumor, not cut. Let's talk about creep tumors and not cut. But. Hmm. Good idea. Yeah. That creep tumor was. So, banelingness. Banelingness, yes. Link speed. Yes, and yes. Double guess. Five. Mmm, and geysers. <laughs> I, <miss Okay>. I, <laughs> I know I'll lose, so I'll play fun, fun strat. And my laser beam is having none did of that know? fun stuff. He's did just going straight know? up three base. <laughs> did you know if it was a rail or a uh, what highway in the middle of the map, you know, and I would be driving a tractor, no <laughs> the players would be alive. Yeah, that's because true. Because my track skills are very great. You don't have a driver's license, so what do you expect? Uh, yeah, um, my company is like minus eleven thousand euros for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> Why did they even employ someone with uh, no driver's license? Uh, I don't know. So the Overlord is going to die, probably. Oh, will it? Uh, I think it is. Uh, but what do you think uh, Glacier will do after this? He will make some links. Send them here. Okay, great. Let's look. Where are they going now? I think they're looking for uh, hidden bases. You will be surprised, but there are no hidden bases. There's, there's just this. There's, <laughs> there's someone. This is just creep. 
and to Evo Chambers at the spine. That's nothing else. Now Glazer Beam probably fearing the wrath of Arcturusk. Mutas clip. Put, puts down the road one. Burrow coming up. Burrow, yeah, here we go. Burrow. He cancelled his lair to get Burrow. <laughs> so, so, oh, I, I know, he's he gonna burrow. burrow, he's gonna burrow them at the ramp, oh my god, <laughs> oh, I, this is big brain. <laughs> oh, that was a pretty great hit. <laughs> that, that was a great hit. <laughs> so what do you think Ark will do with this 1000 mineral bank? Um, not make expansions. Yeah, but no shits. But what will he do? Yeah, I don't know. I want to. I Maybe want to make more banes. Things. Yeah, he's going to make more banes. He's gonna uh, detonate all the roaches that are going to come. But he's running them across the map. Yeah, he's gonna run them into the roaches. Glazer <laughs> <laughs> takes so, out an overlord heavily supply again, blocking Actorus. Uh, could we just talk about the supply? Look at the supply, Fianza. Supply. Soup <laughs> Look at the soup fly. Soup fly. Yes. So, Larry coming up for Glester. Glester Ben. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, think if he kills all the workers. Oh no. No! But he doesn't. That would have been oh, so awesome. Where are they going? going? They're going into. They're going to kill. Try to kill the, the queen. queen. God save the queen. <laughs> god save the queen. But it won't be safe. The Lynx come in to kill it. <laughs> and now, what will Glazer Beam do? What will he do? What can he do even? Yeah, he loses even this one is a more very road. dire. This is a very dire position from Glazer, right? Yeah, I, I don't know how he one. can still win this. I'm not sure. If he goes for Mutas? Oh, yeah. Mutas, Mutas can always win with the game. Yes, even if you're Mutas. 50 supply behind. But I don't think Glazer will go Mutas. No, 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 no. Ark will go Mutas. Yeah, but I, I said that Ark is gonna win anyway, so... Oh, oh. Of course. Of course. Please, please tell me there is a strat where you rush Adrenal on CBC. No. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> so... 12 more banes. How many banes does he have? A he lot. Ha he has 8, eight so it's 20 <laughs> banes. 20 banes. Yeah, what will they do? I mean, Razor Beam saw all of that. No, no, no. This is and finally, Arcturus so, finishes this is so big brain, natural. Ailet, that your big brain doesn't even understand it. Okay? And when your brain doesn't but understand I got it, it's... Omega <laughs> but I got the Omega brain. Yes. Nobody got a. Who will ever go there? I don't know. He will bait them with his mutas? I I don't know. Which mutas? He doesn't even have lair. <laughs> I don't know. He has a lair. You just don't see it. <gasps> please tell me. Please, please blow them up. <laughs> Best. <laughs> what is this? Uh, that did not a lot. Well, wh what you want to do is click on the detonate button, not on, on the on burrow button. Till next game, he will know that, right? And then he will kill. That. Oh, yeah, bro, rip. But the layer is f coming up. Also, we can we can, we can say now that Glider uh, Beam's macro is worse because he got mm, a bigger bank. Yeah. Yeah. This is Disco Blood Boss, and it has weird colors here, and a dancing thing. <laughs> you know, that I, I could wrestle a bear crapper. Yes, you, know you could. Or because you're Russian I, I... ancestry? Mm, that's why I would nearly kill a bear. But you know why I would kill a bear? Because you got a truck with you to run it over with. <laughs> I didn't mean that, but sure, we we can go for that. Okay. I I I have a truck. To tra <laughs> uh, 
Nice. 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 Any map is fine. Then I'm gonna take the most disgusting map no, 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 ever. No, no. Hmm? Please do Thunderbird so you can blow up all the banes at the ramp. Or uh, up all the roaches at the ramp. <laughs> Mm, but I want to see Winter's Gate, and nobody's ever gonna pick that. Sure, Luton. <laughs> That's probably my first game. I, I'm, uh, I'm gonna message him, please. Uh, do move hey, just hey, no, no backseat ba game. gaming. No backseat gaming. Sorry. Okay, I didn't send this, but I want to mute us. Yeah, that's understandable. Nobody wants mute us more than I do, but sometimes you can just not Let's have it. Let's look at the brackets. How's, how does the bracket look? Fianton already in the next round, literal god. But who is going to be versus Ha Hava? The winner of Sept vs. Captain Undead. Ah, oh. oh, th then I will maybe have time to eat and come back. That, that, that's bug. Please just don't let this game go out for like 20 minutes. The rules are you must stick with your race though. Right? Yeah, you must stick with your ma base, but... I don't think it matters for this game, so I'm not gonna complain about it, and it makes stuff more fun. Okay. Is there like a... Oh yeah, I already asked. What's that thing? Is there Forget what? that I said anything. Forget it. Forget it. You never heard anything. You never heard... Good. Uh, okay, I didn't okay, hear, hear anything. Oh no, and this... No! In this map, my truck wouldn't work because they would run away from me because of the freaking slow zones. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> what was your reason why you uh, would wrestle a bear, by the way? Uh, because I have burrow banes. That doesn't that make sense! Like... You just don't know it. Oh, uh, have you clicked on Control shift 3 and I'm given placer points? Control Shift three? Yes. That that's wrong. Oh control shift three. Yeah, control I don't do shift. that. Iron so in <laughs> the bottom right corner playing <laughs> for clubs. It is Arcturus men's. Yeah, and he already announces that he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna play the Terry Rush. Um and on the other side of the map representing the wonderful Glazer Beam. Glazer Glazer Glazer, Glazer. it's Glazer Beam. Uh, this is wonderful. It's gonna be a forge. Uh, no. But the question is, uh, does he place it on the third base and fly it up to the main base, or does it build it in the main base? I, mean, I think not building it in the main base yeah, that's is smarter. great. Yeah, because then the probe. Alternatively, you can build it inside the base, but like in the fog of war. Yeah, but then the and, player. And the will beam is trying know. to go for. I, I think Glazer actually thinks uh, this is uh, the Zerg. What is so it? The SCV goes back. He, he saw the SCV. Let's see if he's got... No, please. I, I don't know where it's placed because I... No. Shit. Oh, this is so sad. No! I, I think he should just float his main base to the enemy base. This is so sad, I'm gonna cry now. Yeah. For one time we see something actually hilarious and then Glazer Beam ruins it. I am yeah. also kicking Glazer out of the tournament now. Yeah. But he, but he, can, he but can he'll, he'll, he'll yes. still do it. Yes. He'll yes. still do it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is awesome. Now the transition into a barracks. Th this is wonderful. 
Yeah. This is the best thing I've ever. Oh, and the <laughs> gas block. God damn it. Oh, gas block is also a pretty hard thing to wreck that when you are low leak because you don't know. Should I just pull ten workers and kill it, or should I not do that? Wait, what did you just say? <laughs> like at least when I, uh, when I was in a low league, like let's say Bronx, silver, and someone would uh, like <laughs> um, gas block me, I would just pull like ten workers and kill the gas block. Yeah, but you, you you're not you're not having as huge of of a brain as Ark. Of course I do. No. Stop offending me. Or you're just not showing your entire brain. And your entire brain capacity. You Maybe know, it's that. You know I, what I would know. be super cool? If you loaded in the SCV. Yeah, the that private. too, but um just imagine if uh planetaries could build outside and and just fly in. And when they're in the air, they're shooting air units. Well, and when they land, they can shoot ground units. Well, Glazer doesn't have any units. Yeah, actually, that's true. Only got one, one zealot. No, he doesn't. The, even the have question a is, if uh, if a planetary builds faster than thirty probes can kill. It. Honestly, uh, he did a quite a big mistake here. Um, actually, uh, flying into the slot zones. No, yeah, no, not that necessarily. But he could have no, researched no, building no, armor. No, no. He could have researched building armor or something like that. No. Stop Why laser? Why ruining? Stop ruining it! And please don't <laughs> build it in the planetary over there. He's gonna. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Please. Amazing gaming. Amazing. Oh my God, he's gonna land it. He's gonna. He's going to land it. Please, planetary. Pl yes. And then here we go. And he's not so even. every single second that goes by, uh, Ark is closer to winning now. Oh shit! He pulled. The yeah, I, and I just imagine if nice. he researched building armor now. Then his props would only do s two dam two damage to the uh, command center no. by attack. Please drop me ult. No, he doesn't have an orbital. No. No, this is so sad. This is so sad. God damn it. No, laser beam, you're ruining my dream. <laughs> and here we go, laser beam wins 2 0. Well, it was the most entertaining series so far for me. Yeah, I guess. It wasn't a ZBZ, so that's an upside. Wait, Seb won 3 versus Captain Undead? Or was it a walkover? I don't know. Probably a walkover. I mean, Seb is not online either, but... <laughs> so they just, like... Roulette it, I think? <laughs> Could you please do Sab versus Hav? I would do that if Sab was here or Hav Hav was here. But can we do a 10 minute break? <laughs> Shit. No. Wait, we can do the losers bracket, right? Or There's no losers it, bracket. No. Oh yeah, it's but. <laughs> I'm sad. Either I must, either I must like begin eating now and do like a eat it in like two seconds. God damn it! Who is not at home? Who is at home? Uh, not at home. Like, I can't talk. No one is there besides Glacier. Well, <laughs> he's just gonna win. But you can beat the Glazer. Yes, but I'm gonna eat him. You're gonna eat him? Uh, that was not what I said. Oh, you're gonna eat soon. Why would you eat? Also, what? when do you eat? Why do you eat at 5? Because I am a Janton. And Janton is weird.
just tell your dad when there's no sauce, I'm not gonna eat with you. Wait, I'm gonna get sub. Get sub, please. Yeah, I'm please gonna do, do my that. best. Mm, I'm gonna just uh, wait. Why am I not friends with Sap on Discord? <laughs> Why am I not friends with you on Discord? Anyways, um, I'm gonna call Sap now. There's no step responding. Let's try again. <laughs> this didn't work out either. Okay. Hello, Fjanten. Hello. Is that coming? No. Oh, right. Let's spam him. That always helps, right? Well, <laughs> he's gonna get so angry. But I, I, I'm just gonna spam him three times, four times in total. So there we go. I'm just gonna spam him in DM as well. And he's gonna love every bit of it. Well, he spammed you, so. What? He didn't spam me? No, he has done many times. So what do we do now? God damn it. Fjanten, why do you need to eat? Can you just like not eat? Who needs food? I must eat now. Bye. Bye. So what do I do now without people? I um, guess I'm gonna just sit here. This map, haha, can play sadly, so Sep gets the work over. I mean, Sep is not here either, but that's alright. Next map is Fjanten vs. Glazer, but Fjanten needs to go to um, eat dinner. Whatever you would eat dinner at 5 pm. That's beyond me, but uh, okay. So. We don't have a match right now. The only one that's here is uh, Glazer Beam.
I don't know. I'm very hungry, so. But the difference is that I haven't had lunch. I could eat something too. That would be good.
Alex. Uh, well, hello, Fjenten. What uh, are you doing here? Why are you not eating? I just ate food. Okay. Then we can go on. I will leave you. That would be for the best. Bye. Bye. And so, we are finally loading into another game. And it's gonna be spawning the bottom right corner representing V-Fish. It is Fjanten. On the other side of the map, in pink, it is the one and only. It is Glazer Beam. Ooh. And we already have some love confessions here getting thrown around. This is intense. But besides that, we're just gonna see two head thrusts. That's good as well, though. I won't mind. It's this. Not uh, an interesting cheese, though. So that's sad. Mirrored openings again. Always a wonderful 17, 18, 17. Besides the fact that uh, Fjanten went for 16 head. But that's not a difference, really. Besides that, it apparently gives Glazer Beam like 20 more minerals. Let's see, what's this overload with spot? Will it spot this head? I'm not very sure. Could go either way. Dum 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 dum. He sees the creep, but will he see the hatch? He sees the hatch. Yes, he will. Same thing goes for this one. I have no co-caster, so that's sad. That's so I have nobody to talk to about stuff that's unrelated to the game. Really feels bad, man. I should like split up my personality so I can talk to myself. That would be pretty good. Oh, but here we see those links. They will get into the main and they're scouting. Oh my god, they're seeing so much. AKA nothing, because this is just normal. Which is something you want to see, though, that it's normal. So it's just gonna be three base openings, maybe with link floods, maybe without link floods. We'll see. Yeah. So Aelid1, what do you think about this? Well, I mean, what do I think about what? I mean, there's nothing happening right now. But don't you see that, Aelid2? Uh, Look at this, um, there's so many links being produced. Oh my god, Aelid1. 
Actually, you're right, and uh, Glazer Beam needs to respond by making links himself. Oh my god, that's so such a nice analysis from you, Elit One. And look at this Bane, will he get a nice detonation? Oh my god, Glazer puts the link on it, and oh my god, will it survive? Will it survive? I don't think it will. <gasps> it dies. <laughs> and the other side of the map. Oh, kind of the same side of the map. You see... Pains. Also, we didn't have only ZVZ. We had a PVET. Oh, now we see this wonderful engagement. Oh my god, Glazer Beam gets so nice hits. And there's actually nothing left here for Fjanten. Because Fjanten went on the other side of the map, but... Oh my god, he's getting caught off guard by these links from Glazer. So Glazer can do so much more damage here. And I don't think his queens can hold on for now. One queen falls, there's no banes left for Fjanten, but Glazer's uh, link count is dropping as well. But his hatch, Fjanten's hatch is so low, he m might lose it still. This is gonna be so close. Glazer Beam is going for another round, but now there's banes. <gasps> but Fjanten doesn't pay attention to the banes, oh my god. And Fjanten loses all his links. This is so intense! <coughs> This is the hype cast you were all looking for, right? This is actually really close. But Glazer gets the hatch, which is huge. And there are even some links going into the main. He's really putting on the pressure here on 90, uh, 29 drones only. Again, we'll have no problem cleaning this up, but he's still one down one base. That's not that big of a deal because he actually uh, has workers. But with this Roach one, Fjallin should be able to stabilize and get another expansion going. Let's see how this will go. Fjallin is still droning, while Glazer Beam is just making more and more links and Bane's actually even. He's just gonna go for another round. This Bane does a great hit by, uh, for Fjant. But the question is, will that be enough? Because there's literally nothing here, there's only 10 armies to play. <gasps> Look at this wonderful Bane hit, but there's nothing else left here. And Fjant is making links instead of roaches. That won't help him that much against Banes. But these Banes are just zoning the drones. But actually, there's not that much left for Glazer Beam on this side either, but it's only links being produced by Fjanten. The question is, how will he be able to finally seal this attack off out of his base? Will he be able to do this with roaches? I don't think so. And there's still one bane for Glazer Beam. This is so clutch. What if Fjanten runs into it with all his links and dies? That would be not good. And Fjanten loses all his links. We're down to just five links, two roaches finally spawning, but it's just a little bit too late. And I don't think what... Uh, I have no idea what to tell you guys, but this is just over. A GG gets called. Laser Beam takes game one. <sighs> that was too much hype cast for this entire year for me. Um, Fjanten. What map do you want? Disco. Okay. B 
BTV. Come back, Fianten. And we are jumping right into the next map. This glazer beam being one map up. Spawning on the left side of Disco Blood Bars. It's a teal circular, it is Shanton. And on the other side of the map, spawning in red, being one map up, it is glazer beam. Oh, thank you for whoever did something. Thank you for the host with one viewer. And we're not gonna see a interesting cheese again, but only at first. This is so disappointing. I want more proxy planetaries. Stuff like that. That's what I need. In my life. Not hedge first. Is what will we see this game? Will we see a link flood again from Glazer Beam? 
I haven't followed Glazer Beam too closely recently, but back in the day, that was everything he would do. First it was 1312, then it was 3 base bane, uh, Ling Bane, Bloods. But at least we finally see Glazer Beam not 1312ing, so that's the start. Both players go for that normal around three minutes. Oh wait, no. Can actually didn't send out a drone. Um, I wanted to say that everyone is going for a nice three base, uh, three minutes three base, but it's actually not the case. Fianton is sending out few links, uh, not too much. Just. Biting away at this hatchery a little bit. Oh. One Ling is pretty suicidal, but well, that's sad. Actually, Fianton is getting quite a lot of damage done here <laughs> with only the six Lings. Maybe you learn something from Nuke. This is getting pretty low. Even if he doesn't uh, kill it, he could go for Link Flood afterwards and just kind of destroy it. And the thing is, he will not go for that. He is <laughs> going for a, probably a pretty heavy Roach uh, push here with a fast lair and no third base. But he will be up against probably a Link Flood from Laser Beam or not. He just made these uh, links because he was still scared f for his third uh, base. Sevestis uh, is on for the finals? That's a good question. I don't know. I spammed him like three million times. I, um, I don't think he responded to that. No, he didn't. So now it's just making roach after roach and he will have fast roach speed and plus one. It's something Glazer uh, Beam won't have. Let's see how well that works out for Fianton. He's pretty supply blocked right now so he can't make any additional roaches. Finally, we also see that upgrade for Glazer Beam, and it won't finish in time for Fianton's push here. But this push is actually not too big. I'm sure, Fianton has a bit of an army advantage by 11 supply, which is quite a lot when you're on 30 to 40 supply, but he will definitely be able to take out this base. The question is, will he be able to do more? He got that upgrade advantage which additionally helps him and he got road speed which is the biggest part really. You will be able to take out those screens but the question is can you push up the drive? It would be probably the safer bet to not do it but you never know how many roaches are there. Goes a random shot at the extractor and he gets a lot of drones here. Taking the worker lead now Actually, his army supply is still better than Glazer Beam's. And now he can just kind of rally over the map and just take the last remaining roaches out. But at the same time, Glazer Beam is still reinforcing himself. But these roaches are already not going where they want to go <laughs> partially. But for now, Fjatten will have to regroup a bit. Actually, there's a hatch here that I didn't pay attention to. But it will fall. And so might these roaches. At least 
the two are not uh, unequal in upgrades anymore, but uh, only for so long because Jantan's plus two is soon finished. Laser actually cancels these spines. I mean, I still think he's in a bad situation, so maybe he would have wanted to keep them. So for now, Duncan will take this map, as it looks. GG is called, and the series is equalized, the first not 2-0 that we had today. Wonderful. What map do you want to place beam? Ephemeron, okay. between him and Sebastis, who knows, who knows. That only <laughs> applies of course when Seb actually shows up. And let's see what we see now. Spawning in the top left corner of Ephemeron. It is a tier Zerg player. It is Fjanten. And on the other side of the map. Representing Glazer Beam. It is Glazer Beam. And he won't go 13-12 again. Oi. This guy changed since the last time I watched him. So we're just gonna see double head firsts again. And I can complain again about not seeing any Jesus. It's so sad. And we see those 18 gases. Maybe, maybe not. Yes, we do. And 70 pool. I know everything. It's wonderful.
So Elit two, what do you think about this matchup? Uh, well, well, Elit one, I I think you should uh, first of all um, set Fjanten and Glazer Beam to one map each. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry, I totally forgot that. Yeah, thank you, Elit uh, Elit one for no Elit two for uh, telling me. So well, we're gonna see. This, these links again from actually not Glazer but from Fjanten and Fjanten will he do as much damage again to Glazer's head? I don't know. Well, I don't think so. I mean, Fjanten only did. Uh, he only made four links this time, so it won't be that scary as last time. Oh, but look, he's killing. Drones, one goes down in trade for two links. What do you think about this? Well, this is always good. I mean, both costs 50 minerals, but the drone mines, so it's worth more. And we st see straight up the Bane Nest from Glazer Beam and the Road from, from Fjanten. Fjanten is basically going for the same build as last time. Oh, hmm. You think he will go for the same build again? I mean, it worked out pretty well for him the last time he did it. I mean,. I guess that's true, but won't Glazer Beam expect that kind of? I mean, look at this, he's already taking his third base a bit early, I would say, but he saw that Ling, I think, and uh, just decides to wall off instead. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't really need to wall off, right, because this is just one Ling, but you never know. Yeah, it could always be a Ling flood again from Glazer, he's not uncommon to do that. Uh, I can't talk English. Yeah, you can't. But it's not uncommon for Glazers to do that. That's true. And the question that we are asking ourselves now is, uh, will Fjan actually go for the plus one carapace as well? I doubt it, because he doesn't have the gas for it. If he wants to make roaches as well. Yeah, I, I, I don't think so. Uh, I think he will just try to get up the third base, but this wo won't happen for now, because there's still that link. That he didn't clear. So obviously it's gonna be there. Um, regardless, he's still saving up roaches just like last time. The question is, will Glazer Beam be better prepared this time? He droned up to 45 workers, which is plenty to deal with this. Glazer Beam is kind of checking for Nidus, I feel like. Um, yeah, yeah, he is, and he's making roaches, a lot more roaches than last time. And now Fjan is pushing out with seven roaches, which is not too much. And I feel like the laser beam will just overrun it at this defense. Yeah, totally. And yeah, he scouts this out and then he will know, well, uh, you just need to make more roaches and then you're happy. Yeah, but Fjan actually has the upgrade advantage, so that goes for him at least. Yeah, that's true, that's true. But the question is, is there an upgrade advantage enough to make up for the defender's advantage and a higher army supply? Yeah, I don't think so, I don't think so. And Laser Beam now comfortably takes a supply lead, a few more workers and a few more roaches goes a long way, go a long way, I don't know. But actually, Glazer Beam tries to go for a run by, which will totally be shut down by Fjanten because, well, he has road speed, so these won't get away. But he's running past it with all his roaches, so that kind of would open up uh, another pass for Glazer to do a run by, and that's just what he's doing, apparently. But now, Fjan is going up the ramp, and he has a decent army. He could have maybe jumped on top of that, with Glazer not having plus one. Oh wait, mm, well, <laughs> I guess Glazer has plus one. So disregard what I said. So Fjan will just be sharky <coughs> sharking around the space for now and really doesn't do all that much. but. Right now, finally Glazer's run by will arrive. Let's see what it can do. 
Oh, this is actually sad for Fjallon. <laughs> Goes into the natural, takes out one drone, takes out two drones, takes out three drones. The focus fire is not perfect, but it's still alright. Four drones, five drones. This is totally decent, I would say. Blue roaches for five drones. Yeah, I take that trade. Especially when you already have an army supply lead. You don't need that extra roaches anyways. Oh, and Fjan does a run by as well, and this kind of pulls uh, Glazer Beam apart. While Fjan can do damage in the natural, Glazer Beam kind of F2s and uh, messes up his army control, really. But Fjan will get 8 workers, 9 workers. And he actually had an opportunity to push into the third base again, but he doesn't take it. But he will take the opportunity to take out these roaches. But at the same time, there's a run by by Glazebeam as well, taking out only four workers. So that's less awful. But at the same time, we got this fight, and Gantus Re is run from all sides. You will be able to get out of the space, I would assume, but at quite the losses. And now Glazebeam takes the 20 supply lead again. And this 20 supply lead might help him close out this entire game, even. But he forks up some roaches again to the top right hand side, and let's see what they can accomplish while these two armies are just posturing around and uh, not doing all that much actually. But there's nothing here either, and Fjatten sends his entire army back to deal with it. He will lose 5 drones as it looks. Before anything bigger happens, and now Glazer Beam goes into the natural. But Fjanten has a better surround, but Fjanten jumps right on top of the army, which gives him a few nice pickups. Oh, and Glazer Beam forgets some roaches. So, this is really what Fjanten wanted right now, which kind of was able to at least to some degree equalize it. But funnily enough, for both players, they both have quite a big bank, which could completely turn the favor of the match if any one of them didn't have that bank but had like 12 more roaches for example oops now we see the next big fight this time on glazer beam's side again if you hadn't at least got the army advantage uh, uh, the upgrade advantage while glazer beam still has it Small supply advantage only now. Then is really getting back into this, nearly battling himself. There's no ravagers here. There's seems to be just more DPS for Fjanten with Fjanten's plus two upgrades. And now Glazer Beam is dropping so many drones. He's down to 35, four. And now we see that maybe last fight even because most people won't turn back from this fight. Laser Beam desperately needs to defend this and Fjanten feels like he's in a great situation here but there's more and more roaches coming here and I'm not sure if Fjanten will have enough but just barely he hangs on. These Ravagers are doing a great job here. Seven ki uh, 3 kills, 7 kills, 5 kills. They're really worth their money here. And now Fjanten in a commanding lead with 25 workers against the I don't know, 25 supply more against uh, Glazer Beam, that is only on 35 workers. Oh, behind all of that, I missed something again and Fjanten lost his <laughs> third. But losing his third. Or killing the third for Glazer Beam doesn't seem to be enough. He needs to pull all the workers, and not even that will save him from the wrath of the Fianten. So Fian just pushes through Glazer Beam down to 49 supply. And we won't have to wait long, probably, for the GG to be called. Wop. Uh, 
And Fian takes a series 2 to 1 against Glazer Beam. And now we have nobody to play again. Wonderful. So am I going to do anything now or are we done? I don't know.
I mean, I guess without Sep there won't be anything happening now, so... I think I'm gonna end the stream. Host laser beam? Maybe? That seems like a good idea. Well, thank you for watching everyone. As there's nothing else to do, I'm gonna stop. Bye-bye.